to a video of carry by appscript.com. Now in this video, I will be showing you the customer portal, which is on the left hand side, along with the driver application, which is on the right hand side. Uh, as you can see, the customer portal has the option of a login by Facebook and uh, Google. And uh, we also have the option to create an account where you can create your own account by adding your name, email address, phone number and password. And uh, you can also use the verification code 1111 when you create an account. So since I already have an account, I will log in with that. I'm now logged into my customer portal on the left hand side. And uh, the basic layout is as follows. You have the option to view your profile and edit your basic information over here. And uh, you can view the notifications from the app on the notifications page. And over here, you can view all the tasks that this particular customer has done. So as you can see, there are two prior bookings that this customer has done. The first one, the first booking was expired. And the, in the second booking, the driver canceled. And you have the option to filter these bookings and refresh the page and so on as well. And the customer also has his wallet page on the top. Now in the wallet, the customer can add his cards. Now we have set up Stripe with this particular application by default. So uh, what we have added here is the Stripe test card. And you can do a recharge from the card as well. As you can see, the wallet balance has been recharged by the amount that I've added. And on the right hand side, you can see all the transactions. You can see the debit transactions and all the transactions that have been done on this app. And uh, we do store card data, but we store it in a PCI compliant database. So you do not have to worry about data theft. Now, uh, coming back to the home page, uh, we uh, also show you your ongoing bookings, your requested bookings and your past bookings. So in this case, I'm going to create a new booking. Uh, let me first log into my uh, let me first log into my driver application and I'll log into a sedan vehicle type. As you can see, the driver can see is minimum fare and so on. So the driver is now online and he is available to take a booking. So let's click on book a ride. As you can see, when I click on sedan, I can see that there's one vehicle close by. I can choose my number of seats as well. And over here, I have the option to apply a promo code. Now, promo codes can be set from the admin panel where I will quickly show you how it's done. So this is the promo codes page in the admin panel where uh, this is the code we will be using. So you can set the basic parameters of the code, like your code name and so on and uh, also your start date and end date, along with your discount and how much discount this particular code gives a customer. And coming back to the customer portal, let's apply this one promo code. And now the promo code has been applied and this customer will get a uh, reduction in his booking fees. And uh, the next option is to select your personal or corporate profile. Now we realize that uh, users of the application might have a personal profile along with a corporate profile, which uh, you know will be related to a company. So if you have a corporate profile, then you can enter your corporate email address over here. And the app does a verification by sending a mail to your email address, after which you will be able to choose from your personal and corporate profile while making a booking on the application. So uh, now that we're done, let's book the ride. And uh, before booking the ride, you can select your payment method. So if you select wallet, then you have the option of uh, paying the remaining balance along with your cash or card if your wallet amount isn't sufficient to, for the booking. So in this case, I've chosen wallet and let's choose uh, 
card as my backup payment method. So the uh, driver has accepted the booking and the customer now sees a status update saying that driver is on the way, driver is on the way to the pickup. And uh, when the driver is on the way, the customer can see the details of the ride as well. The customer can see that he's in an Audi A3 with plate number so and so. And uh, the customer gets a timeline of all the activities, booking created at so and so time, booking accepted at so and so time and so on. And uh, so now let's, uh, let me say that I've arrived on my driver application. So the customer gets a notification saying that driver has arrived when the driver swipes right for the arrived column. Now, when the driver starts the trip, customer, the customer gets another notification saying that driver has started the trip. And when the driver completes the trip, the customer gets a notification saying that the trip has been completed and it now moves to the past column in the uh, three sections that we have. And the customer gets to rate the driver as well. And the customer can add this driver to his favorite. And the point of this is that the next time this particular customer uh, books, uh, books a cab, he'll be able to choose from his favorite riders. And the favorite driver will be given a preference while the customer is making a booking. So there we go, now the first trip has been completed and the uh, amount of the trip has been reduced from my wallet on the top over here. So uh, that completes the first flow of the app. Now uh, I will log out of my customer portal. And that completes the video of the customer portal of Carry. And we will be uploading more videos with in-depth reviews of specific features that we have.